I mean, our times we we didn't invest much uh, from our side, but these days I'm saying finding that founders are putting a lot of money or some money initially, friends and family rounds, because now you are these days you are expected to have uh, a minimum viable product ready before you approach professional investor, institutional investors, right? So you do raise fund, friends and family round. You do put your money. I mean. It should be valued, and that's kind of what why the sweat equity we call it, right? And or the initial funding. See, funding any time you put in, you will have to decide the valuation of the company, valuation value of the shares, and then if suppose one founder puts in fifty thousand, another founder puts in fifty thousand dollars. I mean, they have equal, but it is not just that; it's also the value. Now, let's say a situation: the founder A, he is the main brain behind the product that will be created. And he puts in fifty thousand dollar. Founder B, who is not the main brain behind, but he's he may let's say he's an operation or business guy, but he's not. He's never done anything big, large, or and his first time uh, startup and first time he's doing these things. And he also puts in fifty thousand. So they should decide like this: that for fifty thousand, that money they have put in, they obviously they get equal share. But for the value they are going to bring in, founder A is going to get more than founder B. And if they are mature people, they should be able to see that. Like you know, there, there was a. I mean, in our case, one guy was a technical guy. Other guy was. I mean, I was responsible for fundraising and and customers, partnerships, and sales, and all that, right? Though we had nothing to sell at that time, but we had enough to, uh, you know, uh, gain traction in the market. And of course, fundraising was the important thing. And third guy was only marketing. So marketing guys only making presentations. I mean, we just. Makes the next better, better and better presentation, but what good our presentation? I mean, a junior guy can make presentation, and that's what it it came out. I mean, more than us, we were still emotional about the value the founder brings. It it was investors who were saying, he said, why did you guys divide it equally? I mean, this guy is just making presentations, you know. I mean, presentations have no value. I mean, anybody can make present, even if don't you don't make presentation, your relationship, credibility, ability to close customers, or ability to close. Uh, funding or close VCs. I mean, that is more important. Or building the product is more important than building, a, uh, you know, making a presentation, right? So, the value was. I mean, we didn't understand this. I mean, we were emotional about it. So that to me is the value that each founder is expected to bring. When you hear a lot about that, you know, this founder left. This founder left. Actually, usually behind the scene, the story is somebody saw he's not pulling his weight and wanted to, you know. I shouldn't say throw him out, but wanted to, uh, you know, somehow create a situation where he feel that he doesn't want to stay, <laughs> right? And uh, or sometimes a guy is so obnoxious that he feels his value is a lot more than it actually is, and he is not able to negotiate his way to that value, and he leaves on his own. That these are the some reasons I have seen personally where people leave. And not that leaving is a bad thing. Leaving is a good thing. I had mentioned last time that I think in one of our cases where we had to throw out a founder because there was no role for him in the future of the company, and I feel it is better that he left so that he can do something with his time and his his future rather than staying here and find that his train is leaving without him. So, coming back to your question, it is based on the value one brings, and that value has to be decided by the found the rest of the founders. If we are two founders. Then it's obviously it is a matter of opinion, and then the investors get in and they can help you decide, or your advisors can help you decide, right? Sooner they decide, better it is for them, or better it is for the future of the company.